Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. So today we're gonna scratch the surface on vectors and go over some pretty basic vector properties. So vectors are often, in my opinion, presented as this like big complicated idea in Calc 3. And I think that's what makes it so difficult for students to really grasp the big picture idea, if you will. So my goal here is to pretty much break this rather massive topic into pieces that you can kind of watch at your own time and hopefully learn. All right, so this is going to be just an intro to vectors and also my first video in Calc 3. So pretty much in this video, we're gonna learn how to add and subtract vectors geometrically, which I wanna say is a pretty important topic on its own. So what's a vector? Um, you've probably heard this term many times before. You can think of a vector as an object or a collection of objects in space that have a magnitude, which I'm gonna highlight here. It's also referred to as your vector speed. It, it, it also means magnitude is also given by the length of your vector, but I'm not really gonna get into too much detail or worry about it in this video. So as long as you know that the vector is, is an object or a collection of objects in space that have a magnitude and a direction, you're pretty much golden. And the other thing, um, every vector has an initial point and a terminal point. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to show you an example. So think of this arrow as a vector in space. Okay, I don't care where it's going. I don't care about its direction. All I'm going to worry about is this guy right here. Okay, that's going to be your terminal point or essentially where your vector ends. And then this guy right, right over here, that's going to be your initial point where we're going to begin drawing our vector. Okay. And then this whole vector on its own has a magnitude. So the length of your vector is going to be your magnitude, but I'm not really going to worry about that in this video. Also, the other thing that I want you guys to remember is I'm going to call this vector vector V. And then the way I'm going to actually refer to this V as my vector is by drawing uh, like a half arrow on top of it. You could also draw like a full arrow. It doesn't really matter. But if you just leave a V there, nobody is really going to know what you mean. Okay, so just a little notation thing to keep in mind. All right, so now we're going to go over to our first problem and then add these vectors. So we've got vector C here and then we've got vector N over there. And then our goal is to add these two vectors together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy these guys. And then there we go, copy, and then I'm going to come over here, and then paste them. All right, so that's my vector right there. And if I'm adding two vectors together, all you have to do is take the initial point of one of your vectors and connect it to the tail or the terminal point of the other vectors. That's all you have to do with every vector problem, okay? Every vector addition problem, okay? And it's, it's super easy. So all I'm doing here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my n, oops. I'm gonna take my n right here, vector n, and then I'm gonna grab this vector n and basically connect the initial point of my vector n to the tail, tail of my vector C, okay? That's all I'm doing here, okay? And just like adding two numbers together, you know, if I add six plus one, it's gonna be seven. So if you add vector C to vector N, you're gonna get a new vector, okay? And then I'm gonna draw this by a red pencil so you can, red pen so you can kind of get the idea. And that's going to be your vector C plus your vector N, all right? That's all you have to do. Take the initial point of one of your vectors and then connect it to the terminal point of the other vector. Repeat this in your head as many times as you know it takes for you to learn it. And then order doesn't matter here, but keep in mind, and, and I can't really stress this enough, do not change the direction or the length of your vector, okay? If you do that, you're gonna get the problem wrong. So just, just keep that in mind, okay? And then let's go over to our second problem here. So we're adding vectors L plus vector D, okay? So L's going in one direction, D's going in the other direction. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that vector because I'm gonna run out of space over there, copy it, and then I'm gonna come over here and then paste that guy. There we go. 
that's kind of at the top so I'm gonna select this guy again and then drag it down all right so all I'm doing again is I'm taking the initial point of my vector D because I'm adding L vector L plus vector D I'm taking vector uh, vector D and then I'm grabbing it and then I'm going to connect the initial point of vector D to the terminal point of vector L okay and my resulting vector is going to be going in this direction all right so that's my resulting vector and I'm sorry my drawing is not really that good so and that's going to be that, that that's your resulting vector so that's going to be vector L plus vector D okay and that's it that's it really um, order doesn't matter here since you're adding I mean 6 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 6 but the only thing as I said just don't mess up the length of your vector and then don't change the direction of your vector so if vector D is going upwards okay if your vector D is going upwards don't draw it downwards okay don't do that all right and then going further down we're gonna do two subtraction problems and then you know you may be asking well you know how do we how do we really subtract two vectors um, I mean can we so pause the video I would recommend for you guys to pause the video for a few seconds and actually think about it you know how would we go about subtracting two vectors so I hope you pause the video and you're back um, the way we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna kind of think outside the box a little bit here if I tell you guys that I'm gonna grab my let's see let's go with what color let's go with blue if I tell you that um, 5 minus 1 is gonna be 4 can I also write 5 plus negative 1 equals 4 I mean so same idea here um, negative times a positive it's gonna be a negative so again um, I mean these two statements are pretty much identical to each other so since I can't really subtract vectors I'm gonna actually treat this as a, as a negative sign and, and and basically make an addition problem out of it so instead of writing vector C minus vector n I'm gonna rewrite this as vector C plus negative vector n okay I mean pretty much the same problem if you multiply your signs positive times a negative it's gonna give you a negative all right so the only other new concept that you need to remember is when you when you when you have a negative vector you're basically flipping the direction of that vector so vector n is going to the right direction when I flip it that's going to go into the negative direction so my new vector n is going to look like that okay so that's negative vector n and that's all you're really doing so I'm going to go down here and then you can I'm going to actually erase this so let me let me copy this problem from here bet you can do that you can't do that on your on your notebook copy and then I'm going to come somewhere over here and then paste it there we go and then maybe shift this down a little bit further to leave some room all right so I said um, take a look at your vector n over here um, vector n over here it's going in the right direction and then once I add a negative to it it's going to go in the opposite direction okay so that's negative vector n and then that's all I'm going to do here so if you take a look that's my vector n right there now I'm gonna write it in the other direction and then basically the same thing take the initial point of the vector and then connect it to the terminal point of my vector C so that's gonna be my new vector n and then the resulting vector is gonna look something like this okay and that's gonna be vector C minus vector n okay and in a lot of these problems you're gonna end up with some type of triangle you know if you want to verify your answer I'm not gonna say all the time but probably 80% of the time you're gonna you're gonna end up with some type of triangle okay and that's how you know that I mean I want to say hundred percent but that's how you know that you're doing the problem right okay so again I'm um, gonna go over the last problem one more time um, so think of this as a vector I'm gonna call this vector P and then if I flip it it's gonna go in the other direction so that's gonna be 
negative vector p. So that's all I want you guys to remember. If you have a negative vector, it's only going to go in the opposite direction. Okay, so if I have a vector that's going to go up, I'm going to call this vector L. The opposite of that, that's going to be my negative vector L. Okay, so it's going to go downwards. If you can remember this concept, you're not going to have a problem. So, oops, let me get rid of all of these. Come on, eraser. All right, so last problem here. I'm subtracting vector A minus vector B. All right, cool. So let me let me actually copy this. Actually, I don't need to copy. I'm just going to redraw it. So again, just remember that you're not changing the direction of your vector and, or the length of your vector. Just leave that as it is. So that's my vector A, all right? And then I'm subtracting that from vector B. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as A plus, oops, I want to be neat here. So that's going to be A plus negative vector B. Okay. And then again, positive times a negative, it's going to be a negative. All right. So that's essentially going to yield me the same result as vector A minus vector B. And then my vector A is pretty much going to stay the same. And then vector B, I'm only going to change the direction. So if vector B is going in that opposite, in that, uh, what do you call it? It's going in that vertical direction. The new vector B is going to go downwards. Okay. So that's going to be my new vector B. So I'm going to redraw that as my vector B here. So they're going up, we're going down. And then that's going to be my vector B. And then the resulting vector of, the, of, of A minus B, that's going to be my resulting vector. And that's going to be A minus vector B, vector A minus vector B. That's really it, you know, in terms of adding and subtracting vectors geometrically. There is not a whole lot into it. It's super easy. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you're stuck with anything, drop me a comment and then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope this guy, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm kind of tired and then I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.